North Korea on Saturday is celebrating the 105th anniversary of the birth of Kim Il-sung, the founder of the nation. Its current leader, Kim Jong-un, his grandson, conduct a missile test in direct defiance of the United States and its main patron, China. Experts believe North Korea's navy has around 70 submarines in its fleet, although only a handful today are believed to be capable of firing submarine-launched ballistic missiles, or so-called SLBMs. What's more, defense analysts believe Pyongyang has the capability today of building a nuclear warhead small enough to arm a submarine missile. Last August, North Korea media showed off video of a so-called KN-11 submarine missile being launched from eastern coastal waters. Images of the North Korean dictator pointing to the missile launch were shown on the state television network. The submarine-launched missile flew about 310 miles toward Japan. The test set a new distance record for Pyongyang's SLBM program, and experts suggest the ballistic missile has the capability to travel more than 600 miles. The problem with the SLBM is that it exposes South Korea's flanks to attack, said Bruce Klingner, an Asia and National Security Specialist at the Heritage Foundation, a Washington-based conservative think tank. Klingner, a former CIA Deputy Division Chief for Korea, explained that the THAAD anti-missile system deployed last month by the U.S. and South Korea is focused on identifying missile threats from the North. As a result, a submarine missile from the North Korean Navy could be launched behind radar and evade defense systems. Similarly, missiles fired by North Korean submarines off the east coast of Japan might be able to dodge detection from Japan's Patriot anti-missile system by launching from behind radar. Joint U.S.-South Korea military exercises this year included drills on destroying the North submarines. A nuclear attack threat from a North Korean submarine is one of the nightmare scenarios facing Japan and South Korea.